How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in to Ask the Philosopher, where we talk about entertainment, money, love, and life. Today's topic is. You know we gotta keep. We gon' we gon' we gon'. I gotta give y'all some more and more and more. Listen, so Dub posted a video saying TT disappointed me with this one. Some more TT disappointed him. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch this. Cause you know they title is always clickbait most of the time, but it's like it's always something truth to it. Whole time he disappointed TT by getting her some a freaking Balenciaga sweater that was like two thousand dollars or something. But he just was trying to bring it to her, like, hey, I think he was just trying to be funny. But I don't know. Anyways, they talked about something in this video though that was very interesting. They said that they were mixed with Indian, Black, and Irish. Ironically, that's what me and my daughter is mixed with. So it's like, they, they might be related to us, man. Not only are they from Michigan, but they might be related to us. We got, it's ironic that they literally mix with the same thing as, as us, as our heritage. That's very, very interesting. Uh, yeah. Anyways, enough of that, man. Uh, I'm giving y'all a reaction to a, a one hour vlog. So you got to just give me a minute to get y'all everything I try to get out of this. I also thought what was what was interesting was when they talked about how Chino, you know, what Chino was saying, like, he was just over, you know, over a lot of things, man. And I, I think, man, when Dub do his one-hour videos, bro, he at this point, we, we can, can we call him the king of one-hour videos? Like, I, I don't know nobody, one-hour vlogs, I mean, one-hour vlogs, I'm sorry. He might be the king of one-hour vlogs, bro. Like, you got to give him that credit, bro. Um, But... It's just always something like he he try he know how to keep it interesting and like I said or yeah like I said on my one of my shows that you haven't seen yet I said Dub has his own way of doing his videos to make them interesting and you got to give him his credit even though DDG put him on Dub Dub is like he remind me of me a little bit like if you give me something oh I'm gonna run with it you give me something good. I'm going to make it great. Believe that. So, Dub got that hustle mentality. And you could tell he really from the streets. Because that's that hustle mentality that you only get from the streets, bro. And I love that about Dub, bro. So, you know, I guess that's how I'm going to complete my reaction to his one-hour video. Like, that's disrespectful to complete the, my reaction in this little bit of time. But I know how the minutes go for the one-hour video. But we ain't going to talk about that. Listen. Definitely, definitely. If you haven't, go watch some of Dub one hour. He did a two hour one too. I, I didn't, I honestly didn't finish. I finished it like half of it. But like, he did a two hour one too. Go watch some of Dub one hour vlogs, man. He's the king of that. And that's, you know, that's how I'm gonna wrap it up. But and it, just in case you guys don't know, Dub and DDG have, you know, retweeted me and shouted me out and stuff on their platform. So that's why I consider them my LA family. Because, you know, they show me love as I reciprocate the love back to them. And they, they're they obviously, like, in my top five YouTubers as well. You know, you got Dub and DDG is, like, in my top five. And then we're going to get over to, like, the Shay and all of that. But I'm going to talk about that next video. Remember this. I love you if nobody else has told you that today.